So Nero AI reached out to me again, asking me to check out their new AI image upscaler. I already showed their video AI upscaler before, and today we're going to be showing their image upscaler with which you can upscale your animes, your real life images, or pretty much any image to crazy resolutions that's more than 4K and even 8K. So without further ado, let's begin. So this is their AI image upscaler. It is a pretty easy to use app and, and everything I'm going to show in this video is pretty self-explanatory, but still I'm just going to walk you through the app, just kind of explaining all the features here and there. Now, before we are going to upscale, I'm just going to show a couple of features here. First of all, we have an options menu here. And if, and if you press here, you can see a couple of options that are very useful and you can change your default settings from here. So I'm gonna, just going to show you what it is. First of all, in the performance, we have the acceleration option, which you can use if you have a fast enough GPU. So if you need GPU acceleration, you need to download around 650 ish megabyte or something like that. And you can turn on GPU acceleration if you have an NVIDIA GPU. If you are doing it locally, make sure to turn it on it is worth it under that we have the preferred engine option and this is very important so there's a local mode and there is an online mode for example if you have a very low end cpu or if you have a very low end pc you can just switch it to online mode and just run it on their servers you don't need to do it locally on your pc it is not important you can just do it in online in the air and they'll do it for you but here i'm going to be showing it locally because it is images and you don't need like insane processing power for it anyway so i'll just do it locally but if your pc is a potato this is worth it and under that we have the default ai model local so if you're doing it locally you can switch to any of these here for us it's going to be anime because i'm going to be showing you how to upscale anime and showing you examples of anime upscaling but you can select any of these and under that we have the preferred output scale local and the scale is by four this is by how much you want to scale your images to the default by four times is a pretty good size and should be enough for most people and under that we have the same thing as before but now in online which also you can switch to whatever you want and also the output size as usual i don't think you should be auto starting it it's kind of pointless for most people i think so just keep it as it is i'm going to close this and let's get to upscaling it's pretty easy all you have to do is press on the browse button and i have a lot of screenshots that i've taken from animes recently so i'll just uh use this one this is from uh the 100 girlfriends and anime i'm watching right now and this is which just says must around the beat yeah kind of cringe but hey the entire anime is cringe so that's it uh if you're asking why is there like a black overlay or on top of a, like 50 percent opacity i'll get to that in a sec it's nothing much it's just you need to process it before it shows it actually so here we have local mode and online mode and here we have the models so this is a standard model anime fast iris photograph for us it's going to be anime because we're going to be upscaling an anime here so we're going to select that and the apply to all is if you're doing a batch export you can add a couple of images here like multiple images and you can just apply all and it'll apply the same settings to all the images under that we have the size option where there's scale width and height the scale option is what most people are going to use because you don't really want to manually go in and put on your width and height do you now if you want to that's totally an option but i think for most people three times four times should be fine and if you want to do a custom of course up to four times because it's kind of pointless after that uh so just uh keep it around there under that we have the gpu acceleration option which we're gonna check because we're doing it locally and it's pointless not to all right so all you have to do right now is press the blue button saying start processing and we'll be back after it's done all right so that's done i'm gonna show you the difference so how do you see the difference it's pretty easy if you go up here we have a zoom option and a views option so if i zoom and zoom in you can see the strokes are much sharper but 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 if you want to see the actual difference go to views go to slider here you go that's how much of a difference 
this made. It made it much sharper, much cleaner, much nicer looking. And you can see. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory how much better this looks, doesn't it? It does look much sharper, much cleaner, much nicer to look at. You also have a split option with which you can see it from the same dimensions. So you can see both of the image at the same time from the same dimensions. It's pretty easy to see how much of a big difference it makes. You can also zoom out, zoom in using this. You can also zoom to fit. See the image just as uh, just the upscaled image. And my favorite, the slider with which you can see the exact difference. So sick. So I'm going to be showing you a couple more examples. I'll put it up on screen right now to see how much of a difference this AI upscaler makes. I'll put all the links in the description below to check it out. And with that being said, I'll see you later.